Moving can be quite daunting, especially if you don't quite know where you'd like to go. Quite often, people decide to relocate to a specific destination for a job, family, lifestyle change, etc. Regardless of your reason, if you've decided it's time to move and Wyoming is your destination, the big question is where in Wyoming should you move? Hi, I'm Alicia Collins with the Alicia Collins Real Estate Team. If you've watched any of my other videos, you may have noticed that I'm a bit partial to Casper, but I'll admit, Casper isn't the only city in Wyoming to consider. This time we'll compare Casper versus Lander. Lander's actually where I grew up. My family moved there when I was five years old and I stayed there until I went to college in Laramie, Wyoming. We are gonna start with some statistics. Let's talk about population. Lander has a smaller population by quite a bit. They have almost 8,000 inhabitants compared to Casper's 58,000. Casper is Wyoming's second largest city. Lander comes in at number 13 on that list. So if you're looking for a location with a larger population, Casper wins. But which one is larger by area? Casper wins again. But even with a population of over seven times the size, Casper is not seven times larger than Lander. Lander is about 9.38 square miles, which is a little less than one third the size of Casper. Casper is 27.24 square miles. Now let's talk about location, location, location. Casper is located in East Central Wyoming. Not exactly in the center, but close enough to be able to get to just about anywhere in the state within a few hours. For example, it is just a little over two hours to drive to Sheridan, Laramie, or Cheyenne from Casper. Casper sits at the base of beautiful Casper Mountain with the North Platte River running right through town. Lander is located in West Central Wyoming. Actually, it's almost directly west from Casper, a little over two hours away. Lander is along the Proposia River and is considered the gateway to the Wind River Mountains. Even though it is somewhat central like Casper, Lander isn't located on major interstates for easy travel. It is connected to many locations through state highways, but it takes a bit longer to get to most places. By comparison, it's over four hours from Sheridan and Cheyenne and a little over three hours from Laramie. Both Casper and Lander have some excellent outdoor features, mountains, rivers, and many more. You will just have to decide which location feature is best for you. What about median household income? Depending on what source you check, as usual, Casper's median household income is right around 61,000 per year. Lander's median household income is slightly higher, somewhere around 65,000, again, depending on the source. I guess Lander wins on that one at face value, but we'll consider cost of living in a moment. So what about the average home price? The median home price in Casper is around 286,000 with an average price per square foot of 145. Lander's median home price is around 365,000 with an average square foot cost of 195. Okay, even with the median income a bit lower than Lander, if you balance that out with a lower cost, of a home, I would say that it's a pretty big win for the Casper column, at least when it comes to the ability to purchase a home. According to bestplaces.net, the overall cost of living in Casper is lower than the cost of living in Lander, but only by 1.8%. Bestplaces.net includes things like cost of healthcare and groceries into their calculations. So even though the difference in cost of housing, the other factors seem to balance out in the difference. Since both cities are in Wyoming, they have a great state income tax, zero. Sales tax wise, both are relatively low. Lander is currently sitting at 5.5% compared to Casper's 5%. Actually in Casper it's 4%, but an additional 1% was voted on by our citizens to fund great improvement projects throughout the city. While one half of a percent difference doesn't seem that large, it can add up over time, especially on those larger purchases. It looks like Casper wins with the lower sales tax. Climate and weather are relatively similar in both Lander and Casper, but due to the differences in terrain, there's a few things that are not the same. When it comes to rainfall, Lander actually gets less than Casper at 11.3 inches per year compared to Casper's 13 inches. Casper also gets more snow, averaging 70.3 inches per year compared to Lander's 50.4. Great if you like to ski and snowboard or other snow activities. Another thing that Lander has less than Casper is wind. Casper wins the wind contest every single time. If you call having a higher annual average wind speed winning, that is. Lander has an annual average of about 7.4 miles per hour compared to Casper's 12 miles per hour average. If you want to know about the wind situation in Wyoming, check out my video on Wyoming wind to learn more. Weatherspark.com has a neat comparison tool where you can see how the different weather stats stack up on the same chart. 
It looks like Casper and Lander have similar temperatures throughout the year. Casper's average temperature ranges throughout the year from 18 to 88, and Lander ranges from 15 to 87. What about political climate? I'm sure it comes to no surprise that Wyoming tends to have a reputation of being pretty conservative, and both Casper and Lander follow that trend closely. Voter registration is listed by county, so it's a little harder to do a direct comparison between Casper and Lander. Casper is a major city in Natrona County where Lander shares Fremont County with Riverton and other cities. So when looking at the county, we can see that from the middle of the year voter registration shows that Fremont County is a little less conservative than Casper. Casper, or rather Natrona County, has around 84.8 of total voters registered as Republicans compared to Fremont County, which includes Lander with 81.7%. In both counties, there are a number of unregistered voters and a very small number of voters registered for alternate parties. The percentage of voters registered as Democrats in Fremont County is 11.6%, which is higher than Atorna County's 8.2%. These percentages tend to shift a bit in election years and around elections, but this trend definitely tends to stay on the conservative side of things. How does Lander compare to Casper for access to the great outdoors? This one is a bit more difficult and I'm a bit biased since I live in Casper, but a lot of Wyoming has wonderful outdoor activities. Casper is right at the base of Casper Mountain with hiking, skiing, and other snow sports, mountain biking, and camping all within 15 minutes of town. Plus with the river running right through the town, kayaking, fishing, and floating the river are all just minutes from home. Since Lander is the gateway to the Wind River Mountains, it is pretty clear that you have mountain access and all that entails. Lander is well known for rock climbing, hiking, fishing, and more. Lander is actually known as one of the best outdoor towns in America. One very cool feature of Lander is Sinks Canyon State Park, where the Papoja River disappears underground into a cavern and comes back out a quarter of a mile away. One thing that Casper has over Lander is alpine skiing at Hogadon Basin Ski Area, around 10 miles from the heart of Casper. Lander has Norick skiing, but not downhill skiing. Casper has three reservoirs within about an hour of the city, Alcova, Pathfinder, and Glendo. Lander has Boysen Reservoir just a little bit over an hour away. So yes, plenty of boating options at both as well. If you're looking for a city with great outdoor adventures, you can't go wrong with either Lander or Casper. How about the vibe of each city? Well, that one is kind of hard for me to pick. I grew up in Lander, so a bit of my heart will always be there. Both towns are friendly and great places to live, work, and even raise a family. The small town vibe is a little more alive in Lander due to its size. Plus, it seems a little bit more eco-focused than Casper. In comparison, Casper is of course larger, so has a little bit more of a city vibe about it. So there you have it, Casper versus Lander. I will leave it up to you to decide which city is right for you. Of course, if you decide on either of these areas, we can help you. My team and I love talking to each and every one of you, and we love helping you find the home of your dreams. We have time for you, and we can't wait to talk to you. Remember, we want you to love where you live. See you soon.